getting ready for the connecting flight. Let's see how we go. I think I'm going the right way. We'll soon find out. And we've just arrived in Johannesburg. Looking forward to the adventure. Just waiting for our luggage. My luggage. So excited for this. So we're just at the zone, which is the local shops and sort of a mall, lots of food, pretty nice. Bars and cafes. Pretty beautiful spot just around the corner from mine, and then you know, just the mall as well. So, I'll explore a little bit more after I get back. Have a bit of a sleep tonight, and that's about it. So, this is a nice little uh, mall here. It's all the food shops here. Uh, so, nice little bars and cafes flip around so it's like a nice spot to eat tonight amazing sunset so this is the hotel room so, bathroom it's quite nice come out into the bed which was nice and comfy last night Stunning sunrise happening out there at the moment. So it's been beautiful watching that for the past half hour. And then looking forward to my adventure. Out to Big Falls today. Should be great. So uh, we're at the Shearwater Explorers Village. Uh, it's really nice accommodation here. Um, staff are really friendly, and yeah, beautiful spot. I'll just do, give you a quick walkthrough. come down into the reception area. That's where you organise your activities. There's 
reception area. Waiting area. Bar. Come down to the beautiful pool. Sorry, the sun's rising, so it's a little bit glary. Beautiful breakfast this morning. So, which continues down to more seating. Then <laughs> goes out to more accommodation which is really nice rooms are amazing and they do have you know cheaper options for camping try and stop pointing towards the sun just down this pathway I won't walk into the sun and you can hear the Vic Falls in the background last night I heard an elephant in the bushes just uh, over the wall which is on the, the backs onto the back of the National Park so yeah pretty amazing so here at Zambezi Helicopter Company about to take a flight over the Victoria Falls and then down the Zambezi River through the gorge, a 25 minute flight and then later tonight sunset cruise uh, which will be amazing and then see some wildlife. Um, there is a deer just over there in the distance um, so he's the second bit of wildlife that I've seen um, and yeah it's quite spectacular here uh, so and then just got in the distance there you can see what looks like smoke, which is actually the mist from the falls. To the right, and another one and a half to the left, so that everyone will have a fair view of the Victoria Falls from both sides. And remember, you'll be flying between two borders, Zambia and Zimbabwe on the right side. Uh, that's a top secret, without a visa. Uh, you will then proceed to Rapid Gorge number 11 which is called the Overland Truck Eater. So it is around this area that you're going to appreciate the beauty of the gorge. The scenic is just marvelous. The meandering of the Zambezi River. If you're lucky, you can as well see some wild animals around the gorge area. You will make a U-turn and for the last chance, cut above the Victoria Falls, proceed to the National Park, following the Zambezi River, and then deep into the National Park, where you have high chances to see some wild animals. And then you come back to the landing pad. Awesome. How does that sound? Amazing. So, this will be me shortly, hopefully. Taking off. That bad boy. Right. Looking forward to heading off very soon. So that's our helicopter just arrived now out there and we're gonna head out there now and uh, heading out it's gonna be awesome
So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Now for the sunset cruise. Should be pretty good. We'll see if we see a uh, few wildlife on the riverbank tonight. Should be a nice little trip. Cruising nice and slowly. Packed on board. The helicopter ride, totally amazing. Loved every second of it. So peaceful out here in the water. Saw a couple of hippos out there. Hopefully see some more wildlife. Such a beautiful setting. Well, the sun is starting to set and colours are starting to slowly come alive on the water. Seen hippos, that's about all the wildlife that we've really seen on this cruise. Um, pretty hard to see them, we now only see the snout and a little bit of the head. So, a little bit disappointing, didn't see a little bit more, but it's still very beautiful and 
calming, even with all the noise. Um, still enjoying it. So about to walk down the path to Victoria Falls and uh, yeah, it should be a nice walk. And uh, yeah, apparently we've got to watch out for animals, which I've already seen some monkeys along the way. But uh, heard the animals uh, last night uh, in the national park right behind me. So that was uh, quite interesting to hear the elephants right behind. So you can hear the helicopters overhead and you can definitely hear the roar more of Vic Falls. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty special. So we've just arrived out in front of Vic Falls, I'm about to go in. Um, lots of little stalls out the front. So we've just arrived in Victoria Falls, just come through the entrance and here are helicopters over over top and we're about to uh, do a walk through. Um, so yeah, should be pretty nice. Uh, looking forward to this, one of the highlights of the trip. Gonna be epic. Okay, so we're just uh, coming up to Livington Statue and Viewpoint One. Um, so I've already seen a little glimpse of the falls already, um, but we'll do it in order. So yeah, should be pretty good. And if I just flip around, so there's Mr. Livingston, the first uh, first white man to see the falls. Okay, so that's uh, Mr. Livingston, so now we're going to uh, go around and check out the falls, uh, just on the other side. And you can already see the mist already. Holy shit. We're just at uh, Vantage Point 2, um, looks pretty spectacular from here, um, very impressed. Just to focus a bit better and yeah, we'll make our way down the steps to the viewpoint. Pretty steep steps. So this is vantage point two.
right mode for the camera. Sorry about that. So we've just been to viewpoint two, so now we're on our way to viewpoint three. Um, and yeah, following the track around. It's uh, every view that you get is pretty amazing. Um, so let's uh, move on to view point three down the track. I reckon soon we'll probably need to bring out the poncho because you get wet here, that's for sure. Wow. So just coming up to viewpoint four now. Um, so we'll have a walk out. It's a lot of mist. A lot of water on the ground. Yep, getting a little bit wet here. Zambezi coming over the Victoria Falls. So we're just uh, walking up to point number five now. And, uh, we'll see how much mist is blocking our view this time. Although it's great to see a lot of water. You also want to see the waterfalls, but that's a trade off, I guess. Uh, yeah, much better. Not so much spray as in point four. Much better. Thinking about when Av, Mum and Dad were here a few years ago. Wow, well, more like about 25, 30 years ago. Okay, so viewpoint six. This is uh, pretty special here. Oh yeah. There we go. Hiding in the bushes there. Feed. Okay, so we're at the next viewpoint, and uh, yeah, this one's uh, pretty spectacular. Same waterfall, but you walk along and then you see further down. Just spectacular. It's just magic, it really is. I know there's going to be a lot of videos, but hey, you get that, it's beautiful.
imagine what it would have been like with uh, David Livingston coming here for the first time and saying this. It would have been spectacular as everyone that visits here would see. It's just incredible. It's loud. It's very scenic. And yeah, loving every second of it. up every now and then just as I say that I get soaked uh, but you get that that's clearing up now up there so definitely better views just when I think that the view was better on the last one this gets better again like sensational view Through is just amazing. So green and lush. So I've gone to the end, just walking back and taking it a little bit more without the camera this time so I can actually stand and enjoy it because you yeah, take a lot of photos and you don't really stop and appreciate. So going back through to enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah, I would definitely have to say that uh, point number six has definitely been my favourite. It's been absolutely spectacular. I've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll get off to next adventures, which uh, will be Vic Falls Hotel. And we'll check out that. Uh, check out the old railway station. And then maybe go through a walk through town shortly. arrived at Victoria Falls Hotel and just going to do a bit of a walk and see what's going on and maybe have a spot of lunch. So I'm going to have some lunch out here and maybe a drink. It should be a pretty nice view out the back I reckon.
spectacular view of the bridge and you can see the mist of the falls. That's Hear the falls from here. Wow. Oh, yeah, you got the uh, swing across the canyon there as well. And just seeing the foreground. Probably not on this camera. That's incredible. So we've just arrived in Hawang and we'll just get some bits and pieces, um, some drinks and some food, little bits that we want to have and uh, yeah, just get to town and then we're off to the National Park, so small little town. So mainly a coal mining town, so yeah. So we've just arrived in Hawangji National Park and uh, we have set up our tents just now so um, yeah that's our accommodation which will do nicely nice little mattress and yeah nice little park and look at that first elephant it's going for a drink wow look at that just after arriving Gonna go have a drink. That's incredible. So now they're just relaxing because it's a bit warm. Mm -hmm. Later on in the evening, they, yeah, you look at the horns. Oh, the horns, yes. Yeah. yeah. So Males have got a very thick boss. We call it the boss. The forehead is called the boss. No, I think that's so males have got a thick boss. They might look relaxed, but they are very aggressive. 
amazing first safari. Um, yeah, it's been pretty awesome. And uh, just by a watering hole, seeing zebras and buffalo. You get a nice sunset now in the background. It's been amazing. Didn't see as many animals as I hoped, but it's been great. Thank you, folks. How are you? Good, good, welcome. Good, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good job. Any further for potato? Because painted dogs are found in family units for pegs. A peg is consists from two to fifteen or more than fifty painted dogs. There is only one alpha peg in the peg. The alpha female and the alpha male are the one who the rest of the peg are family members. Sorry? Yeah, she's only one. Still on the hunt. Still haven't seen any. Hopefully, we will. Very magical spot up here. It's, it's beautiful. So it's been a great day. Uh, this has been our ride to get around in. Just had a spot of lunch and then we're gonna go look at some paintings and uh, also do some more tracking to see if we can find uh, white or black rhinos. It's been fun. in a minute.
Okay, it's just around the corner now. Should be able to get a better view up here. Well, it looks like two, three, three of them. is that so rhinos are just coming out to say hello incredible Pretty special. So, just walking back and seeing the rhinos. Absolutely incredible. Black rhinos, three of them. Of the three of the 63 that are still in this park. Absolutely amazing. Right, just incredible to see them about two metres away. Something I'll never forget. and bamboos just growing besides TCP resort here it's uh, pretty special so we're just at the TCP forever resort with the hot pools These pools are nice and warm. 40 odd degrees in there. Way too hot. And then outside you've got the mid-sized pool, which is probably about 30 odd degrees. And then on the top level up there, it's about 30 degrees, which is relatively cooler and more manageable. So I'm just up at the natural springs and it's nice to come up and see where the water for the pools are coming from. And so it comes from here underground, see it bubbling away and you see some steam coming up. 
and just behind me, part of the resort. There's mud huts as extra accommodation. Could have had an upgrade last night, decided not to. Enjoying doing the camping and spending time with the group. It's, it's an amazing trip so far. It's not much that I would have changed. And really looking forward to uh, the activities today of going to the village and spending time with the uh, families and getting to know uh, some ways of life of the village. So we just arrived at the village and we're just having a bit of a walk around. So we're having our homestay in this village with the family. Everyone's been super friendly. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? What's your So we just arrived at accommodation in Kruger National Park. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice here. Campsite's pretty good. Um, check in over there. Get your tours. The open pool drives. A little monkey there hanging out on the roof. And then there's the shop. And uh, then we've got the restaurant over this way as well. Um, so you kind of go suss that out. And then there's a watering hole. So I'm going to check that out as well. So just heading across to the restaurant, having a little look from the watering hole. Uh, looks pretty nice from here.
identify if it's a male or a female. Females are more bigger than males. Yeah. And the reason for females being bigger than the males is because the females they also protect their young ones from the predator. Oh, watch out. In front. That's in front. 